Hey cruisers, this video is all about getting you ready for a Norwegian cruise. We've got answers to the most frequently asked questions about cruising with Norwegian, also known as NCL. We'll cover booking strategies, how to get the best cabin, how to pack for your NCL cruise, how dining works, onboard entertainment and activities, shore excursions, Wi-Fi, accommodations even for families and kids. And if you stick around until the end, we've got a few insider tips and tricks for you. Now in the description and the comments of this video, you're gonna find a super thorough article on our website to help you even more with your NCL cruise. And this one's way more thorough than this video. We're just tapping the surface on this. All right, let's start with booking strategies. The first thing you want to do is get a good deal, right? There's a lot to consider when booking, but let's start with some basic tips. First up, I would subscribe to NCL's newsletters and their emails. This will get you on the inside track for info on the latest deals and promotions and stuff like that. You wanna book during their sales events for more potential savings. Now the timing is really critical when you're trying to get the best deal. Booking off peak seasons is one of the very best strategies. For example, you're more likely to get a deal on a Caribbean cruise during hurricane season. But of course, keep in mind, you may miss a port or two in this scenario or have like a change port or something like that. Now there's typically trade-offs with this technique. You'll also want to join the Latitude Rewards program for further discounts and benefits. Also, look for the free at sea promotions, which can include free beverage packages, dining credits, and shore excursion deals. Now, Norwegian runs this promo all the time. This is their thing, you guys, free at sea. And your travel agent can help you navigate the process. You really wanna use a TA in this scenario because free at sea is kind of complicated. All right, how about choosing a cabin on NCL? When you're booking your cruise, it's super important to choose the right kind of cabin. And the first thing to consider is the location. We try never, ever, ever to choose a cabin near the elevators because there's often noise from people gathering in the area and from the elevators themselves, like the doors opening, stuff like that. Now, if you have trouble with mobility, being close to the elevators might be a good thing and certainly worth the bother of a little bit of extra noise if you need it. Also on Norwegian, and this tip is critical, we encourage you to carefully avoid booking a stateroom above or below a bar or a lounge. So what you're gonna wanna do is take, it the, take a look at the deck plan and ask your travel agent to help you with this to make sure that you don't end up in a noisy cabin. Now, when in doubt, if you're doing this on your own, what you wanna do is book a cabin on a deck that's located between two other decks that only have passenger cabins. No bar above you, no bar below you, no public area at all. Cabins here and cabins here. That's the best advice we can give you. There's a lot of bars, lounges, there's karaoke areas, all kinds of noisy opportunities to ruin your sleep. So trust us on this one. All right, now totally separate. If you're looking for a more luxurious and private experience on Norwegian, you might wanna consider The Haven. The Haven is Norwegian's ship within a ship concept where you'll have elevated dining and lots more perks, more attention in that area. It's just really private and beautiful. Oftentimes you'll have your own pool, sun deck, hot tubs, things like that. It's different on every ship. Now, if views and a private outdoor area are important to you, consider a balcony cabin. A basic balcony is usually great. But if you're prone to seasickness, any type of midship cabin on a lower deck might be a better choice for you. Now, your first stop when researching cabins is the Norwegian Cruise Line website. Go to their deck plans, or better yet, talk to your travel agent about this, or do a combination of both. Okay, let's switch gears here and talk about packing for your Norwegian cruise. Packing for your cruise is totally a separate video altogether, but fortunately we have lots of packing help on our channel, and we're gonna link to some great videos below. We have packing lists in the description of this video and in the comments for destinations like Alaska and the Caribbean. So let's just talk about some basic suggestions to get you started. Now the destination and weather should obviously dictate what clothing you pack, but if you're into the formal night tradition, pack some formal or dressy attire for those special nights. Now formal wear on NCL is totally optional. You do not have to dress up, you guys. The choice is yours. You could wear shorts every day if you wanted to. In general though, essential items to include would be your travel documents, comfy daytime clothing, swimwear, sunscreen, toiletries, a hat, comfortable walking shoes, a reusable water bottle, and any necessary medications. 
You'll also want to consider bringing a USB hub in place of a power strip. Don't pack anything on Norwegian with a surge protector, as those are often not allowed, both on Norwegian and pretty much any other cruise line. Also, grab some magnetic hooks for extra storage in your stateroom. So let's talk about dining. Dining is a little confusing on Norwegian Cruise Line because they have so many choices, right? But Norwegian's freestyle dining means there's no set dining times or pre-assigned seating. You can dine at your convenience at the various restaurants. Now, Norwegian has both complimentary and specialty restaurants. Now, the specialty restaurants are upcharge for an extra charge, and you'll want to make reservations for those early on, especially for popular venues like Teppanyaki is an example, Cagney Steakhouse, another example. Also, once you're on board, check the ship's app or the information screens that are all around the ship, and you're gonna see restaurant wait times there as well as the menus. But listen, if you're dining at the main dining room, like the main dining venues, not specialty, not upcharge, or if you're just going to the buffet, you don't need a reservation and you can just walk in at your convenience. Don't worry about booking those in advance. Okay, how about entertainment and activities on board? For entertainment and activities, it's best to book things as soon as you possibly can, as soon as they become available to you, preferably on the first day of your cruise. Now, this can usually be done in the NCL app or by visiting the box office on board. Now, for things like the go-kart racing, make sure you check for availability on day one of your cruise and sign up early to secure a spot. Some of this stuff sells out and you've got to get your go-karts and things like that on day one. All right, guys, let's talk about shore excursions because this is where it gets really fun when you're on a cruise, right? You're going to your ports, you're getting off the ship. It's so good. So Norwegian offers a lot of different shore excursions that cater to a variety of interests. You've got cultural tours and nature adventures and water sports, culinary experiences. It's a good idea to research this stuff in advance through the NCL website or the app or as soon as you can once you're on board if you haven't booked anything. And you can also do research on outside sites like Cruise Critic or CruiseLine.com or other cruise related websites or the Facebook group that you're subscribed to before your cruise. But here's a hot tip for you about excursions. Don't feel like you have to book excursions through Norwegian Cruise Line. As long as you use our strategies to book your excursions independently and safely, you'll be fine. So we're going to link to some tips about booking your excursions safely on your own and also a third party provider who charges less than the cruise lines and guarantees your return to the ship. Did you guys hear me? I will repeat it. They're cheaper, they're less crowded, and they guarantee that you're going to get back to the ship. That's a good thing. Okay, let's talk about Wi-Fi, because this is usually a pretty big concern for people. You might have gotten a complimentary Wi-Fi package with your free at sea offering, right? So commonly we'll choose free Wi-Fi with our free at sea, but if not, NCL offers Wi-Fi packages, and depending on your needs, your connectivity needs, it might be worth purchasing one. Sometimes packages range in price and data limits, so pick one that fits your intended usage. But keep in mind, regardless of what cruise ship you're on, what cruise line you're sailing with, connections can be slow. And depending on the position of the ship, you just might not get a very good connection. So be patient and don't expect blazing speeds. It's probably not gonna happen. Now, one thing you should know though, is that you can use the NCL app on board without purchasing a Wi-Fi package for just like things like accessing the daily schedules, making reservations. You don't need an internet package for that. Okay, how about families with kids? How does Norwegian cater to families with kids? So NCL offers lots and lots of family-friendly activities. They have complimentary kids clubs for various age groups. They are divided up into different age groups. They have family-oriented cabins. They have family-oriented suites. And they have lots of different onboard activities and entertainment suitable for kids. We've seen things like karaoke and sing-alongs and cupcake making and cookie making and all kinds of different things. On some of the ships, they also offer things like group babysitting services and even special family events throughout the cruise. So what if you're a first time Norwegian cruiser? Let's roll into our best tips for our first time newbies on NCL. Okay, you guys ready for this? First up, get to the terminal on time. In the past, we used to tell everybody, get there early. But these days, there's really no advantage to rolling into your embarkation port early. Show up at your arranged boarding time. It helps keep the crowds down in the terminal it makes embarkation smoother. So here's how you arrange your boarding time in case you haven't done this yet. You're gonna download and log in to the My NCL app. You go to ncl.com slash login and select check-in. 
think you can probably do this website or app, either one. First thing you're gonna do is provide personal info, your passport number, your passport info, and travel information for each guest. Then write this down at 21 days before your cruise, but no later than three days prior to your sale date, you can reserve your port arrival time. So at that 21 day before the cruise point, mark your calendar to log in so you can pick your port arrival time and make sure you do this no later than three days before your cruise. So the later you wait to choose your arrival time, the less choice you're gonna have. While you're in the app, take advantage of embarkation day offers and explore dining options and activities and things like that too. Reserve stuff if you can. Make reservations for shows and excursions as early as possible. Okay, now next tip for newbies. Pack smart with items like reusable water bottles. Norwegian doesn't allow you to take water or soda on board at all. And it can be pricey to buy it, especially if you don't have a package. So it just makes sense to pack a water bottle and fill it at the buffet or other designated fill stations. You'll see things around, but when in doubt, go to the buffet, take a cup of water, fill that cup and pour it into your water bottle. You never wanna fill the bottle directly. So speaking of beverages, you can bring bottles of wine and champagne on board but if you take them into any restaurant or public area, there's gonna be a corkage fee. So just keep that in mind and budget for it. Now to keep things handy and organized in your cabin, bring along some magnetic hooks. Most cruise cabin walls are metal and perfect for strong magnets. So we'll put a link to some great magnets down in the description below. Also familiarize yourself with the ship's layout. The more comfortable you are with the ship, the better it's gonna be and it just makes things less stressful and more fun for you. So kind of walk around on day one and just see how things feel and get the lay of the land. Also take advantage of embarkation day specials like spa deals. Definitely wanna stop by the spa and see what they have to offer. Get your mustard drill done out of the way as soon as you can on day one as well. And maybe attend the ship's meet and mingle parties. Never ever miss the sail away party on Norwegian. They are so high energy, so fun. Usually they're held out by the pool deck. You're gonna have DJs, you're gonna have dancing, you're gonna have the, the staff out there just totally bringing everybody to life. And you're gonna find probably deck parties throughout your whole cruise that are super, super fun too. All right guys, this next tip is one of my absolute favorites and that is to keep out for uh, keep an eye out for laundry promotions on your cruise because they can be real money savers. Usually they're gonna leave like a bag in your room that's a flat rate and you can send off a bunch of laundry in it and get it back the next day. And it can be a nice way to go home with clean clothes or pack light, pack less and rewear your clothes. Lastly, don't forget to set your watch to the ship's time to avoid missing the departure from ports because sometimes the port time and the ship time are different. Okay friends, that's it for now. But don't forget to check out our in-depth article. It's called Top Norwegian Cruise Line Tips for an Epic Voyage. It's available on our website now. It's linked below, description and comments. It's chock full of additional tips for getting the most out of your Norwegian cruise. It's gonna help you guys so much. Now that article, along with lots of other Norwegian Cruise Line videos, also linked down below, are gonna give you just so much information and we're gonna help you pack too. Thank you for watching. Let us know if you're going on a Norwegian cruise and what ship you are going on, what you're most excited about. We cannot wait to hear from you. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.